Okay, here goes my first pick a card reading. Bear with me. Uh, I'm sure they'll get better as I go, but for pile one, we have a moonstone. If I can find the camera here. Pile number two, you have Muakite. And I'll place the descriptions of the stones, crystals, whatever, in the uh, description there. And pile number three, we have Howlite. So take whatever pile resonates most whatever you're drawn to the most if it's not resonating don't take it don't make it fit uh, pick another pile or maybe there's just not a message for you today we're going to be looking at uh, just if what messages the universe might have for you creator god whatever you you prefer um, and and maybe some advice whatever you know advice we from there that we might have uh, I'll try and place timestamps. I'm still pretty new at this, so bear with me, guys. All right, so pile one. I got the moonstone. I got some music playing in my AirPod. And I'm picking up kind of an upbeat energy. Somebody's y'all are kind of feeling like y'all are feeling good. So give that a little shuffle, but I want to start and do a uh, bit of an energy read just to make sure that we got the right pile. So I got my energy oracle cards. Yeah, somebody's coming at a, at a uh, kind of a low time. You're ready to get back out there. St. Patty's Day is today. You've been saving up that bank. It's time to time to go spend it, right? Have a little bit of fun. You've been holding. Oof, you've been feeling really uh, hold, hold up, keeping to yourself, and you're really ready to get the fuck out. What else do we got? So you feel like you kind of had a stall on your journey feel like you had maybe maybe got held back a little bit be it uh, a person or or you know a circumstance you didn't think you could be healed but you're starting to see that it's your choice now it was always your choice of when you were going to be ready to heal just gonna make sure that candle behind that's not getting it So, what is a general message that we, uh, the collective needs to know right now? That upbeat collective that's feeling good and, you know, tits. I'm gonna just take that down. Okay. Let me clarify the eight of wands, please, spirit. Ancestors, guides, monsters, angels, please clarify the eight of wands. Ooh. Okay. So, the clarification for the eight of wands, you got the hermit upside down and the ace of cups. Okay. So spirit says you've you spread yourself thin and you kind of you rested when you needed to, but now it's gotten to the point where you're resting too much. You're holding yourself back from what you desire in life. You're you're holding yourself back from your future. Um, it was never your intention. Well, it started out healthy, but you let it go too far now. Stick those under there. Bear with me. I'm not used to having a million cards. Okay. Y'all. Okay. 
Okay, not touching that one again. Okay. So, you're, what I'm getting though is you're ready to get out there finally. You know, you held yourself back. You went a little overboard with the hermiting. Now you're ready to get back out there. Perfect. So, what's some advice for the collective? What's some advice? <laughs> so right now, uh, Flowers by Miley Cyrus just came on. And that's kind of the energy I'm picking up. You, you found security and stability within yourself. Okay. Um... Jeez, all upside down glue. So, Spirit says you were holding yourself back from this rebirth that you knew you were going through. Um, but the opposition isn't there anymore. And you're not going to learn the lessons that the world has to teach you. You're not going to find the teachers that are going to help you grow in your life if you don't realize that the time is now, but the time is now is upside down because you, you are realizing that. Um, so what I'm getting from that is it's, it's, it's just kind of saying, keep on your track, keep on the track you're on. Like you, you got it. You, you recognized where your faults were and you know, you realized that that is what's holding you back from a new start because you realize you're no longer a caged bird. Okay. And some parting messages for the collective spirit, please. Again, bear with me. This is my first collective reading. <laughs> Final parting message. So you need to remember that your life is rich in every way. When you feel that fear, do it anyways, because you've realized you are not weak. Feel the fear and do it anyways. And that's going to be why your life is rich in every way. All right, thanks, Pal One. If you, uh, care to check out another pile feel free sometimes more than one might resonate resonate if not thanks for watching feel free to give me a like and subscribe i could definitely use it have a great day okay pile two y'all had the mua kite oh. so i actually had half your reading come out during the pre-shuffle when I was clearing energy and uh, so I'm gonna do some energy oracle cards just kind of get a, a reading on you to just make sure this is that you know that this is the right reading for you the right message but I'm already gathering you're somebody very organized you are ahead of the game but I also procrastinated for about 30 minutes from doing pile one until doing this one so that kind of tells me um, there's a good chance you likely have ADHD tendencies. Um, very, very organized, but on something I found out this year, motivation and procrastination is a huge part of ADHD. ADHD. It's a big problem for people that suffer from that. Um, that might be something that you, you know could be helpful for you. But the whole middle of your reading, the bulk of it, popped out. And spirits telling me don't even bother with the oracle cards. Um, that should be enough information to let you know whether or not this is your pile. So I haven't actually looked at what the re what popped out. Okay. There's an ev there's an event you were really looking forward to. Um. If it happened 
or hasn't happened regardless you either went alone or if it hasn't happened you're feeling like you're gonna have to go alone and you thought that you're gonna have somebody with you and you're kind of sad about that you really thought that this was a chance for you uh, for for some of you you were gonna crisis is a love reading you you were going for somebody you were gonna ask somebody to go with you to some sort of event um and and if it hasn't happened you're feeling like you're you've lost your hope um or your will to ask them maybe You feel like you've lost your chance. You 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 were gonna come in like fierce. What changed though? You feel like somebody walked away. And they seem like they're fine on their own. And you feel like it's just too much too much of a fight to tr to come in for them like you were going to or or you feel like people will fight, that it's gonna cause fights if you go for this person. Um, and the back of the deck energy was uh, the, the two of swords. Um, so you're really feeling like you're coming, you, you feel blinded as to which of your the choices you should make. Should you go for it or should you not? And so your messages from the universe, your advice, Okay, you did good. Romance upside down, growth is necessary upside down, and this was earned upside right. So, the universe is saying you did good, and your advice is quit thinking that it is lost, or that there needs to be more growth from your end on their end. The romance is not lost. There is no more growth necessary, and you've earned this. You've earned this. You've been looking forward to this. This is something you've really been wanting, and I feel like you've been denying yourself, to be honest. Um, this is a really quick reading. Holy, I'm going to come in with some final messages. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward, and actually it kind of coincides with one of my shorts. I can't remember which one that was called, but don't have too, too many. If you want to feel free to go give me some views and go look back. In the meantime, Spirit, what is your advice for the collective? Parting advice. Oh, Christ. Okay. Well, you got a bit longer of a parting message. I'm going to go with what's on the table there. Don't think the per whoever is going to be so hostile if you do take that shot. If you're worried about them being hostile or or them being concerned about others or or something, you know, just just don't have concerns about getting in your head about that other person. So, you'll have the freedom that you desire with your lover as long as you remember have courage in that you are aligned with your purpose will maintain the belief that you're aligned with your purpose and your purpose will provide you with freedom you're smart and you are confident and you need to start remembering that i'm authentic and courageous and that's your affirmation i didn't give an affirmation for paul one but you guys get one i am authentic and courageous because you are so you need to start believing it and apparently you're the kind of person that needs to be told because I did not talk like this to pile one. So quit throwing a pity party because you haven't even tried yet for the ones who this hasn't happened for. And I'm picking up that for the most, most of you, this, this has happened or hasn't happened yet. And for the ones this has happened for the, what you need to take from this is, is next time because you're going to get another shot. 
you thought it was the last try, you're going to get another shot if this has already happened, this event. Um, so take the advice for that next time. Remember that you're authentic and courageous. Thanks, pal, too. Feel free to give a like and subscribe. I can definitely use it. And uh, take care. Okay, so I'm getting kind of a melancholy energy. Um, almost forlorn. I actually kind of got a message like, I don't know if you just need to take a bath to relax. Or if, if some of y'all maybe, maybe just need to take a bath. <laughs> but, but definitely, you know, a relaxing bath or a spiritual bath, you know, that could definitely be beneficial because... You've been sitting in a, a kind of a sad energy for a bit, pile three. All right. So get a little bit more of an energy reading. You feel like somebody else was victorious. You feel like you lost out on something. If that's resonating so far. Oops. got healer of the ages so you focus on other people more than yourself which is part of the reason that you're finding it's a big part of where that melancholy is coming from and um, you're just focusing on work and helping other people because you feel like you've lost out on something you feel like somebody else was victorious um, anything else with that energy read here Spirit. Okay, so you got your sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, upside down. So you've definitely been not listening to uh, a mix between your into you, your your head's been fighting your intuition. Your intuition's been on point, but your mind is is your mind is using logic and and so you're not listening to your intuition which is why you're sitting there holding your heart but you're not doing anything with it you're not giving it to the person that you want to be and at the bottom of the deck you got your first chakra your root archangel metatron or sorry michael you need to ground yourself and that's part of where the bath comes in start taking a breath and just let it out, you know? Jeez, there's a bit more going on here than I kind of expected. Go like this. Gotta watch the candle behind there. Okay, so what do we got for our collective spirit? Oop. These cards are so slippery. You can't tell. Yeah, no, you guys just have like a... Like... A dampened energy. Like you just feel like you're... Been being been being pushed down. Okay. So what does the collective need to know, Spirit? What does Pile 3 need to know? Okay. So you feel like you're walking away from something that you put a lot of work into. Um, you're really optimistic about it. 
it makes me think of that. I don't even know what show it is. I just remember the clip from it where he's, you know, he says he'll, he'd get the whole moon for her and he, you know, he'd, I think he lassos the moon and pulls it closer or something like that. And the, him holding that in his hand reminds me of that. Um, you, you were prepared to give it all to somebody. Um, but for some reason you walked away, you feel like there's a, a death to that cycle, a death to, to that possibility, that option. Um, yeah, I just get a very sad and forlorn energy. Spirit saying, just because you've walked away and it looks like the other party or parties are walking away, doesn't mean they actually are. It doesn't mean this is over. Um, they may feel the same way you feel, and as much as you would be surprised to know that. You know, you're you're feeling sad and forlorn. Well, guess what? So are they. Um, all right, see for any advice for y'all. Advice for the collective spirit, advice for pile three. Okay, so I will take those. I'm gonna take these back, these back, and I'm gonna take the one on the floor. Ah, okay, well I guess those wanna go out. Okay, so, Spirit says you have been second-guessing yourself, and it's been putting you out of balance. You've been gracefully accepting the lie that, you know, it's, it's over. Start grounding yourself. Take that bath. Clean yourself up. And you'll start finding your intuition will be a lot more clear. And that love is not lost. You are on the right path. And final advice for the collective spirit. Okay, so you need to start being open to possibilities. It says, I am open to limitless possibilities. So, have confidence that what you want is going to happen. Contribute to the success of that and start picking your pants up and, you know, picking your pace up a little bit. And be open to what the universe has in store for you. Hope that helped. I hope it resonated. Take care, Pile 3. Give, feel free to give me a like and subscribe. And take care.